For the following exercises, determine whether the graph of the function provided is a graph of a polynomial function. And if so, determine the number of turning points and the least possible degree for the function. All right. So in terms of polynomial functions, we have a couple of criteria. All right. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the criteria for the x values. The x values have to be all real numbers. Okay. All real numbers. In other words, that the uh, graph has to go from x all the way out to negative infinity. And it has to go all the way, uh, let me make that a little better, it has to go all the way from negative infinity, all the way to positive infinity. Okay, that's basically all I'm saying. So let's take a look at both of these graphs and let's see if it meets that criteria. All right, so if we take a look at this function over here, it's going to go on and on and on forever uh, in this direction. And basically that means it's going to go on and on and on forever in the negative x direction, right? Because the negative x is on the left hand side of the y axis. Right. Same thing here. It's going to go on and on and on forever to the right. So it's going to go on and on and on forever to the positive x. So that does satisfy the first condition. Let's take a look at the second one. Same thing here. This, it does satisfy, right? It goes all the way on this way forever and ever and ever. All right. And it's going to work its way eventually all the way out to negative x, all the way out to infinity in that direction. So it goes out to negative infinity in the x direction. And then same thing over here, it's going to go on and on and on forever that way. So it moves on and on and on forever to the positive x, meaning it goes to positive infinity in the x direction. All right. Now, next thing is to talk about the y values, okay? And this is important, that the left-hand side, left, 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 L-E-F-T. The F is here, Andrew, L-E-F-T. <laughs> left-hand side, God, I'm doing this too long. Left-hand side and right-hand side right hand side, okay, must go, must go to infinity. All right, I don't care if it's negative infinity, or positive infinity. If they're both positive infinities, both negative infinities, doesn't matter, it's got to go to infinity. Okay. So when we look at this over here, this goes on and on and on forever in this direction. In terms of the x coordinate, it's going to move its way all the way up to positive infinity in the y direction now, right, it's going to go all the way all the way up, you know, start at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to positive infinity on the y-axis. So that's good. And then on the right-hand side now of the graph, it goes on and on and on forever, basically the same thing, right? It's going to go on and on and on forever, all the way on up to positive infinity in the y direction. So this is good. This does meet the second criteria, okay? So, so far this has a check. How about this one? This one also works, right? As you move, as you look to the left-hand side of this function, it goes on and on and on and on forever, all the way down to negative infinity, in that y direction, right? Similarly, as you look on the right hand side, it goes all the way on and on and on forever. But it goes to the positive infinity in the y direction. And that's fine. There's no issues with that. That's good. They both move to infinity. Like I said, I don't care if one's positive, one's negative, they're both positive, both negative it doesn't make a difference. They both got to go to infinity. So both of these now meet that criteria. Now there's one last criteria. Okay, easy, smooth got to be smooth. Okay, it's got to be smooth, you can have little jerk motions here. Look at this graph. There's a little jerk motion right there, right? It's like very jerky. It's like, uh, Oh, let's make a turn right there. Scary with that one. Right? I want that to emphasize that this is a sharp turning point, no sharp points. Okay, in other words, it's got to be smooth, smooth, no sharp points. Okay, no sharp points whatsoever. So this does not meet that last criteria. Okay, and therefore, this is not a polynomial function, it actually turns out to be an absolute value function. Okay. So how about this? That looks pretty darn smooth to me, right? There's no jerk points there, no jerkiness to it, no sharp points, no nothing nice and smooth. And therefore, now this is a polynomial function. Okay, so now what I have to do is determine the number of turning points and then the least possible degree. So this is easy. Does this graph turn at all? Right turn would look something like this, whoop, like you got a little turn there. Okay, or something like this where you'd have a turn here and a turn there. Right, there are no turns to this one. Now that's okay, you're totally allowed to have that the turns can be zero. Okay, turns turn if I could spell turns could is equal to zero for this polynomial. And then it wants us to find the least possible degree. So I'm going to give you a formula here for the least possible degree, the LPD, okay, LPD, least possible degree by the album. So um, we're gonna have the number of turns, number of turns, plus one, man, I can't spell for the life of me today, turns, 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 plus one, 
Okay, number of turns plus one. So to determine now the least possible degree here, all you're going to do is simply take zero and then add one to it for a total of one. Okay, now what that tells you is that this, the degree of the polynomial here, so it's x raised to some power, what's that power? The power is one. And doesn't that make sense? This is a linear line. Doesn't this linear line look like it might have the value of like x minus seven or something, right? Some negative, it has to have be some negative value over here because that's the y-intercept when x is zero, it'll go to negative seven, right? Maybe it's negative eight, who knows? Negative 10, negative whatever. But that's that would be the linear function here. All right, so linear function actually is a type of polynomial function. All right, so that's going to be your least possible degree. Guys, thanks so very much. Appreciate it. And uh, if you can help us out, that'd be awesome. Like, subscribe, tell your classmates. We'd love to help them out too. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.